Ah, Patrick Johnson speaking. Just a quick uh, walk around my gas fire truck. This is a uh, natural um, Rochester 2 jet carburetor. There's a popping tennis ball there, a pop off valve tennis ball. Another pop off valve tennis ball here. This is my accelerator here. And we've got the two gas lines coming in from the from the gasifier on the back, air filter, that's your gas control here, underneath is the air control, so adjust the air and the gas as it's coming through to get your mixture right. So walk around this side, I've got three thermocouples, what they call EGT, exhaust gas temperature thermocouples, for the gasifier, the far right hand side. There's the hopper, far in the hopper, the middle one is the crossover tube, the third one is just before the filter housing. And we've got the three or four vacuum gauges, first one is the hopper, second one is the heat exchanger, third one is before the filter bag, the, the bag house filter, Last one is after the bag house filter, so I can see when the, the bag house um, the bag house filters get blocked. Come around further. Here are my blowers. I've got two blowers with a just a valve open and close down the bottom, and if you can see it down there and down there is the switch for the blowers so I can open and close the blowers from the back here and you've got the hopper spring loaded with a double lid that lid is just fastened on the, on the clamp this one is where it pops if it does explode full of wood fire tube down here crossover tube thermocouple at the back Right. heat exchanger there then it comes out of the heat exchanger into a cyclone filter here with a spin off bottom down here back this is my gas my air coming in which scavenges a bit of heat off the crossover tube bolted to the bag house filter here bag house filter it's got 42 1 meter by 50 millimeter socks out through that's where I start the system up and get burning into the cooling rails and put the vacuum vacuum tube here around the cooling rails down to the back here these big tanks have got a valve at the bottom to drain the water and I'll catch my condensate this one runs out the bottom and see the two pipes going towards the engine with the vehicle. Okay, thanks for watching.